All right, tomorrow I'm gonna hike 27 miles. All right, so first things first, gotta get the food I'll be eating tomorrow, so doing a little grocery shopping. know what I'm getting. You already know. Now what do I get? Which one? So many options. We gotta go... We gotta go pizza. We gotta go pizza. Is this even name brand? Yeah, this is name brand. Alright, here we go. This is everything I'll be bringing on my hike. We start over here. We've got the food I'll be eating. Of course, we've got the Lunchables extra cheese pizza. A couple tortillas I'll be keeping in this grocery bag. Uh, we have peanut butter for the tortillas, also peanut butter for the apples we got here. A little bit of trail mix, a couple uh, power protein bars, zebra cake, of course. Uh, we got the chipotle tuna salad, so I love it. We got five full liters of water, hopefully that's enough. Hopefully that's enough. Hopefully that's enough. I'll drink some water before, too. Uh, then we got kind of a tech section here. This is my camera stuff, bringing the zoom lens, two extra batteries, micro USB to charge the camera, lightning bolt to charge the phone, bendy tripod thingy, headphones, listen to some jams, music, listen to some jams. Wait, if all this is right here, then what am I wearing? Ooh. All right, it's 5.30 in the morning. Let's get ready to hike. All right, here we are at the trailhead. Not gonna lie, not really looking forward to this. <laughs> Last time I did this, it was pretty rough. I don't know why I'm back. I couldn't tell you. I think it's a weird masochistic thing that like, I wanna to prove to myself that I can go through this. I don't know. But uh, let's do this. Hey buddy, it's okay, I just walked up on you, sorry for waking you up, guy. Sorry I woke you up, dude. I'll keep going, I'm just gonna keep walking, okay? You guys can get back to sleep. Okay, you're pooping? Cool. So I'm just hiking along here. Look at what I run into in the middle of the trail. Not sure what kind of snake that is, but I nearly stepped on it. Doesn't look too friendly. I'm just gonna leave him be there. So I'm five miles in, feeling pretty good, feeling better than I did at the beginning of the hike. Um, yeah, I'm, it's pretty humid out, so I'm sweating a lot, but I brought a lot of water, so that shouldn't be too big of a problem. There's a couple campsites on the way too, so I can fill up water there. The main thing is after that rattlesnake encounter there, that little baby rattlesnake I almost stepped on, it's hard to like take my eyes off of the exact like point that I'm putting my foot down because I don't want to step on a rattlesnake and it doesn't really make for the most entertaining hike. All 
right, so just sat down to have a little bit of a lunch break. Figured this is a good spot. It's, it's nice and pretty, nice and pretty. Uh, good little wind here, cools me down, but uh, I was gonna bust open my Lunchable and make my pizzas, but look at this. I didn't consider this. My Lunchable cheese, it all melted. I just got two hunks of cheese. How am I supposed to make a pizza with this? What? All right, so I've been thinking. This is kind of the point of no return. I'm about 11 miles in. If I go much further, then it's not any shorter to turn around and go back. So I gotta come to a decision. I mean, really the issue is there's not a whole lot of great stuff on this second high of the hike. So there's not a lot of reason for me to go. There's not a lot of things to see, things to do. But I don't want to say I did it. You know? I don't, I don't want to have to turn back around. But and again, it also is a really long hike. And I'm decided to turn around and go back for all the reasons I listed before but also because I checked my water and I'm already like three liters down on my five liters so I've been drinking a lot more water than I planned I would I guess it's it's a lot more a lot more hotter a lot hotter a lot more hotter a lot more hotter than it was last time so I'm drinking a lot more water than I did last time um, but yeah, kind of a bummer. I'm gonna head back, not get the full uh, full 27 in, but one of these days I'll do it. One of these days I'll get full 27, but that's not today. I cannot tell you how happy I am to see this sign. This means my car is just around the corner. We're almost there, guys. I'm almost done. Holy crap. Oh. Two days later. All right, well, it's two days later. I don't have any footage from uh, the end of the hike or the rest of that day. The reason being is, uh, I almost died. <laughs> I ran out of water probably with like five miles left. I didn't really think it was a big deal. Um, I was hiking back, felt fine um, at that one mile mark. I mean, I was, don't get me wrong, I was tired and it was hot and like whatever. I got to about a half mile left and my calf completely cramped up. When that happened, I kind of leaned over to grab it be like ah and then my hamstring cramped up and now my whole legs cramping up I fall over and now when I fall over I kind of try to catch myself my other leg is cramping up my both legs calves hamstrings everything's cramping up right and I've cramped up before on hikes and like it's no big deal but I've never had anything like this where I completely was immobilized I fell over and I was screaming in the middle of the trail um, and now I know my family lives pretty close it's like a 30 minute drive maybe even not even that uh, to get over there so I'm not really like worried worried but I know if things get real serious I, I'm not in like imminent danger so I I, I made it back safe uh, but I really I, I screwed up and I'm not too big to admit that I really messed up um, I should have brought a lot more water 
So last time I did this hike, I remember thinking that it was one of the hardest physical things I've ever done. Mentally, like it, it broke me. Now this time, I'd say mentally I was fine until I cramped up and started to get a little worried if I was gonna make it or not. But physically, it destroyed me physically. You know, I made it back, I made it back safe, but I just got one thing to say. I will hike the full 27 miles eventually. That's right, good water loop. I'm coming for you. In about four months here, four or five months, nice and cold outside, not cold, you know, nice moderate temperatures, I'm coming back for you. And I'm gonna hike the full 27 miles. And I'm gonna do it. No cramp ups, no nothing. It's gonna be done. So, takeaway lesson, bring enough water. Probably hiking by yourself, not the greatest idea. And always have a backup plan. I think that's, that's my uh, takeaway lessons for this.